Hello, my name is Piusha Das and today I'm going to talk about DNA and some of its similar looking components. So let's delve into it. Everyone, every one of us must have heard about what is DNA, right? DNA, okay, fine. We know that DNA is the genetic material of the cell and it comprises of nucleotides and then sugars and all those stuffs, right? We all know about this. But have you ever heard about this particular thing called as chromosomes? So what are chromosomes exactly? Are DNA and chromosomes the same thing? Or DNA and chromosomes are the different thing? So today I'm going to talk about what is the difference between DNA and chromosome? Whether they are the same thing or they are the different thing. So we know that DNA is present in the nucleus, right? And chromosome on the same hand is present in the nucleus. So both DNA and chromosome are present in the nucleus. Then basically, what is the difference between them? Because as we know that only the genetic material of the cell is present in its nucleus. So why is chromosome there if it is not the genetic material? Right? I guess you're wrong. So this is the picture which we are going to learn about, which is going to help us to learn the difference or the similarities between DNA and chromosome. So before we delve into any other uh, further uh, cell life cycle or cell division, it is very important for a person to understand what is the difference or what is the similarity between DNA and chromosome. Because um, in mitosis, in meiosis, these are some of the cell divisions, uh, cell division, or you could say the cell cycles that a cell uses for the multiplication of itself. So these are some of these things. And in my processes, in mitosis and meiosis, we know that there is uh, the equational division and all those things are present, right? So now delving into that, let's learn about what is the difference between DNA and chromosome. So we know that chromosome is present in the cell, right? In the cell, where is it present? It is present in the nucleus. So like we could see in this diagram, chromosome is present in the nucleus of the cell. This is the cell. Okay, so let me take a laser pointer. Okay, so this is the cell. The cell consists of nucleus uh, and its genetic material. Then there is endoplasmic reticulum, endoplasmic reticulum, smooth and rough ones. Then here they have shown a little bit of a uh, few mitochondria. Apart from these things, there are many other cell organelles also. These are not the only things, right? So as of now, very first thing that we know is that chromosome resides in the nucleus of the cell. Okay? So where is chromosome? In the nucleus of the cell. Now next. Next, what do we know that? Next, let's move on to what is the difference or similarity between DNA and chromosome? DNA, what is DNA? DNA is a double helix. It is the double helical structure. More importantly, it is a genetic material of any cell, right? DNA is a genetic material of any cell and it is a double helical structure. Apart from that, what do we know? That DNA is made up of nucleotides. So here you could see A, T, C, and G. What are these things? These things are nucleotides. A is for adenine, T is for thymine, G is for guanosine, C is for cytosine. A and T bound together, that is adenine and guanine form covalent bonds with each other, whereas guanine and cytosine form covalent bonds with each other. Adenine and guanine do not bind and adenine and cytosine do not bind. This is how the pairing is done, right? So adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine. So when these nucleotides bind together, they give rise to a double helical structure called as DNA molecule with the help of a phosphodiester bond, right? So this is a DNA molecule that has a double helical structure. Now, apart from that, have you ever heard about what is a gene, right? Gene, what is a gene? Not the genes, but what is a gene? So let's delve into that topic. What is a gene? 
a gene is particularly a segment of DNA that codes for a protein. This is a segment of DNA and this segment of DNA is called as gene. Why is it called as gene? Because this particular segment codes for a protein. So, for example, I'm having a protein, any kind of protein you could take. I'm having a protein and that protein has to be made, right? There are different uh, processes through which uh, protein is made or pr formation of protein or you could say synthesis of protein in the cell takes place. So, this gene, it has all the information uh, required for the formation of protein. So for example, when we are making tea, what, all, what are the requirements? We need milk, we need water, we need sugar, we need tea, right? We need tea powder, right? These are the basic four important things. Apart from this, the very important thing that we need is a vessel and a electric burner, or you could say gas right lpg so these are the basic requirements for us to make a tea now so for the require the requirements to make a protein the basic requirement is to have a gene to have a information to make for example i don't know how to make a tea what will i do i will go to a book i will read the procedure and then i will make a tea in the same way this gene has all the information of how a protein is made. Or you could say this has the, all the information of the structures and basic components of the protein. Okay, so this is what the gene is. Take care. So initially we learned chromosome is present in the nucleus. Then we learned that DNA is double helical. It is made up of nucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. And then we learned about gene. What is gene? Gene is the basic, um, segment of DNA or you could say the structural unit of DNA because many of the genes come together and form a long DNA, right? So, which is why we called it as gene. Apart from this, do you know that the length, what is the length of DNA? The length of DNA is 2.2 meters long. Oh my God, that's huge, right? So, 2.2 meters long. 2.2 meters long, it's like it's huge. You should sometimes measure what the exact length looks like. So 2.2 meters long. Have you ever imagined this long DNA occupies itself in such a small cell, which is not even visible from the naked eyes? Have you ever thought over this? Right. No, right. So in the same way, now let's see how such a long DNA gets occupied. Okay. So how does this DNA occupy itself in the cell? So initially, what happens is there is this DNA, this is DNA, and this DNA wraps itself on a protein. It wraps itself on a protein called as histone. So what protein is this? This protein is called as histone protein. Okay, so this is a protein that is called as histone, and, this, uh, and the DNA wraps itself on this protein. Now, how is the structure of the protein? So basically that is not important, but this protein is present in the form of eight units. It has eight octam, it has eight histone proteins. So the alignment goes like something like this. There is one protein, then the second, then the third, and then the fourth. These are the four proteins. Now below this, there will be another four proteins stack over it. So there's this third, fourth, and there's this, third and behind this protein there'll be another protein in this way there are four different proteins or you could say four eight different uh, proteins stacked over each other to form a structure which is called as octamer right these structure is called as octamer so dna wraps itself around the octamer of a histone protein now, initially, when it wraps, it's look like, it looks like a bead-like structure, bead and string-like structure. Like, for example, this is a bead, this is string, then bead, string, bead, string. This is the bead and string structure, which is appearing over here. So, it looks like this. So, this structure is called that bead and string structure. This structure further condenses to form 
a structure which looks something like this that the strings are not far away from each other right so the strings are something like this very close to each other okay so this is how the strings are formed after this further condensation occurs this is the condensation of dna is happening over here right dna is wrapping around the histone octamer octamer is nothing but condensation of dna after this what happens is this dna forms a solenoid like structure what structure it forms please repeat it forms a solenoid like structure now you must be wondering what is solenoid like you could see please pay attention to this solenoid is nothing but it is similar to that of the telephone wire have you ever seen a telephone wire the way it is coiled around that structure that type of structure is called as solenoid okay so it coils around or it forms a solenoid like structure this solenoid like structure on further condensation forms a chromosome so have you understood what is the difference between dna and chromosome dna and chromosome are the same thing they are not different okay so what is chromosome chromosome is certainly the condensed form of dna right i hope things are clear so this is the diagram this is what we studied dna gets itself a uh, dna has the presence of gene dna is made up of a g c t these are the nucleotides and this dna has double helical structure it forms a gene now this gene on further this dna on further condensation forms a bead like structure then it condenses together and then it forms a solenoid like structure over here and then this solenoid like structure further condenses to form a chromosome and this chromosome is present in the cell so therefore chromosome is present in the cell and dna also is present in the cell because they are the same thing it's just that chromosome is the condensed form of dna i hope things are clear let's move towards some little bit of quiz so the quiz is what is the name of the protein that wraps dna around itself what is the name of the protein that wraps around dna around itself so any guesses any guesses so the protein is histone right so i said that histone is a protein it forms octamer and this is how dna wraps around itself right now chromosome is not the condensed form of dna chromosome is not the condensed form of dna state whether it is true or false so state whether the statement is true or false the statement is false right because i said chromosome is the condensed form of dna i hope things are clear thank you